Hello and welcome to the Linux command line video series. In this video, we will cover the commands for looking at the hardware components of your system. Sometimes it's useful to know the hardware that you are working with. And this can either be your forensic workstation, or in the case of forensics, the machine belonging to your victim or subject. For your own machine, knowing your hardware would tell you what the limitations are. Knowing your subject or victim's machine can tell you about the devices that you will need to examine. The first command we are going to run is the command to view all the hardware components of your system. We're just going to do CD to go back to your home directory to make things easy. So the command that we are going to run is called DMI decode. So a couple of things to note is that we're going to run that command as root with the sudo command because this command pokes into areas that are restricted to normal users. I am also going to redirect the output to the slash temp folder as the output is quite voluminous and hard to read otherwise. So I'm going to use the less command to look at that file, but you can use whatever text reader makes you comfortable. So you can use more, less, cat, vi. All right, so as you can see, it starts off with BIOS information. This is the very first block. And in this particular case, I am working in a virtual machine. So you can see that I am using VirtualBox as my BIOS. So let me actually get out of this. So I'm going to switch and actually look at the output from a physical machine, as that's a little more interesting than looking at the output from this uh, virtual machine. So once again, the first block is going to be the BIOS information. As you can see, the vendor for the BIOS is AMI, American Megatrends. Uh, they even give you the release date of the BIOS and all kinds of different characteristics of this particular BIOS. And look at that. I have five and a quarter inch floppy support. This is fantastic. So as we go down this different sections here, the second section that you'll notice is that it's the system information. So in this case, I am running on an HP machine, specifically an HP Stream laptop, 14 inch. Uh, with that particular model number, it gives you a serial number, U UID, SKU numbers, and so forth. Let's take a look at this next block here. So the next block is called the baseboard information. So this is the motherboard. So I have a HP motherboard with this product name and serial number for my particular motherboard on this HP laptop that I was using. And if you continue on, there's chassis information. So in this particular case, it's a laptop, so there's not that much there. But if you were on a desktop machine, you would actually get different uh, interesting uh, information there, port connectors. So this section tells me all of the output ports that are available on my particular laptop. So there is an HDMI connector, there is an audio jack connector, there is a micro SD card slot, there is one um, USB 2, looks like I have a, a mouse and keyboard connected, and I have two USB 3.1 ports. Continuing on, even here in this section, portable battery, right? Tells you what kind of battery you have, the capacity of the battery and so forth. In this section, it tells you the maximum amount of memory you can have. In this case, is 16 gigs. So useful to know if you want to upgrade your machine. And then it gets more into the specifics of the memory. It tells me that it's 64-bit wide memory. It's in a SO DIMM form factor. The manufacturer is Samsung, serial numbers, whatnot, and so forth. So once again, all kinds of really interesting information that is the output of this particular file. A similar command is LSHW, listing hardware. Again, we're going to run it as root and redirect the output to a file because otherwise it's too much information to read on the screen. In this one, you notice as it was running, it has some prompts that went to the screen but went away. 
So now that it's done, let's go ahead and take a look at the output. Again, you can use more, less, VI, whatever makes you happy. All right, as you can see, this command, you can see similar information, right? So in uh, this machine that I have, once again, I'm running VirtualBox. It's a 64-bit machine. So I'm actually, again, going to jump out and look at a pre-made file from when I ran it from a physical machine. I'm actually going to use VI. All right, so if we look at this, it tells you that it's a Stream 14 notebook from HP. All right, so it gives you similar information. It gives you the serial number. Then the next section, it is going to tell us about the motherboard. Again, with serial numbers. It tells us about the BIOS. It's the AMI BIOS from that date. From a BIOS standpoint, that's all the capabilities of that particular BIOS. Here's the information of memory. So once again, it's four gigs of memory on SO DIMMs from Samsung, serial numbers. Next section here, it is going to tell us the CPU. All right, it tells you what the processor is, 64-bit. It's going to tell you about the PCI interface. It's going to tell you about the VGA graphic cards. It's going to give us information on the PCI bridge. It's going to give us information on the wireless. So once again, a ton of information. And actually, in this case, I had a uh, thumb drive plugged in. It also saw that thumb drive and told us that it is a SanDisk Cruiser thumb drive with a 8 gig capacity. And it goes on further to break down that thumb drive to tell us that it is partitioned with a EFI partition. Uh, and the size of that partition right there is 200 megs. And then secondly, I have a uh, HFS Plus partition that is about that size. And lastly, it also has a Windows FAT32 volume that is that particular size. It's a lot of really great information it gives you about the system and also the hardware, especially hard drives or other devices, storage devices that you have plugged in. The webcam, I have webcam I guess on that uh, particular laptop. Bluetooth interface. Here is the internal hard drive. Right, it gives me the product number, it tells me that it's a 32 gig device. It's formatted with a fat partition on the first partition and then the second partition it is a EXT4, 28 gig size. Once again, and this one also gives us the battery information. So a lot of good stuff, a little bit repetitive from the DMID code. It's just another view of the data. So when I'm done with VI, I can do colon Q exclamation mark to quit, and we're back. Another similar command is hwinfo. With this command, we are going to run it with a dash dash short option to get a brief output. And we are going to take a look at the output from the HP. And as you can see, you get the information about the processors. So there's the dual processors, dual AMD processors, your keyboard, your monitor, so on and so forth. So it gives you a pretty good summary of what you have. And if you have any hard drives plugged in or thumb drives plugged in, those are also enumerated out along with their partitions. So that's the hardware info command. And yet another similar command is INXI. I'm going to use it with the dash B option for basic output and also the dash C option to turn off the colors. Otherwise the output is going to be hard to read with the more or less command. I'm going to go ahead and look at the version from the HP. And as you can see, it starts off giving you information about the software operating system, right? We're running a Ubuntu system. It tells you that we are on an HP Stream laptop, uh, running this ton of BIOS, UEFI. Gives you the battery information, gives you the CPU information, graphic cards, uh, 
network cards. And this part is actually kind of interesting here. It actually gives you the number of processes running and the uptime, and then a little bit of information about the memory. So just similar but different information. So I'm going to go ahead and quit out of this. All right, so that brings us to the end of this video where we learned about using various commands to look at the hardware components of your system. We looked at DMI decode, LSHW, HW info, and INXI. Hope you enjoyed it, and if so, click on the thumbs up icon to like this video. Please hit the subscribe button to get notified when the next video comes out. Also, please leave me messages in the comment section below so I know what you liked and didn't like, or what you may want to see in future videos. See you next time.